How you doing ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Land and I'm here at Mike's Empire and today we'll be covering on how to shade in a tattoo. First thing you need is a proper tattooing utensil gun to help you have a proper line. Um, you can use anything from a beginner liner to an advanced liner, but it's best to use what, what you're comfortable with because some beginner liners line just as good as an advanced liner. It just depends on the tattoo artist and the skill level. Uh, number two, you need a tattoo shader gun, which is totally different than the tattoo liner. The way you go by that is the size of the coils, which are the two uh, objects that's on the tattoo gun. It looks like a motor. Um, each coil have a different power source to do a different procedure on the tattoo itself. So that you have to get with the tattoo supply company or read upon it to educate you more on it. But the tattoo shader is usually um, a little bit thicker, a little bit less powerful than a liner. That's how you can tell the difference. This shading gun has a different sound than the liner. The liner is a little bit louder, more impact, uh, more intimidating. The shade is a little more quiet. It's not as loud as the other gun was. Um, the shader uh, doesn't give out a major input because it's made for shading where it structures slowly. And this is the shader gun. It's hard to tell the difference between guns. That's why it's good to know and have, have a little experience to uh, kind of help you out with it. But uh, ask some questions also can help too. It's a shading gun. So now we're feeling great shade. And when you shade, you go in the upward down. Imagine shading like paint. It's not like a pencil where you do it like that. It's mostly like a painting. Like you take a brush and you fade it out, come in, do a little snare, you know, little spots. Shading to me is more like painting. That's my opinion. Some people may differ, they have that right. But to mine, it's like painting. And with the shading, I like to wipe as I shade so I can see what's going on with it. Uh, some people look at pictures, some people freehand shade. I prefer freehand shade because that way it's more my own style of tattooing and I feel like it's more my own work involved into the picture basis versus uh, comparing it to the picture that the client actually has with them. Now when you're shading, sometimes you use a different type of ink. It's called gray wash. Or you can make your own gray wash. A lot of people use different things to make their own gray wash. Uh, that's usually the tattoo artist's little secret they keep to themselves on how they create their own style of tattoo gray wash. But you can buy it already mixed. And that's usually what the ink you use when you're trying to do some shading. And again, this is Michael Land at Mike's Empire, the tattoo artist here and owner. And this is how you shade a tattoo. Thank you.